Hi everyone, here we have a kinetics problem. The reaction A to B follows first order kinetics with a half-life of 21.7 hours. If the concentration of A is 0 0.023 molar after 48 hours, what is the initial concentration of A? So, what are we given in this problem? Well, first we're told that um, the half-life is equal to 21.7 hours. And um, we're told that the order is um, first order kinetics. So um, we have that. And what we need to do is determine the initial concentration of reactant A. So the first thing I need to do, I'm not given K here. So um, we know that uh, K is equal to 0.693 divided by the half-life. So let's go ahead and determine what K is. So 0.693 divided by the half-life, which is 21.7 hours. And let's see here. That's going to give us... So that's going to give us 0 0.0319 per hour. I don't have to change this to seconds in this case because um, I'm given the time after 48 hours. So as long as, you know, I just have to make sure that those units are consistent. Now, what I need to do is use my integrated rate law and um, from that, I can solve for the initial concentration of reactant A. And the integrated rate law looks like this, uh, at where um, this is the concentration of A at uh, the initial concentration of A. And that's equal to a negative kT. So now, I, I think where most people are going to uh, have problems with this is just in the math itself. So what I think I will do is I'll just go ahead and plug in some of these values. And we're told that the concentration of A after 48 hours is 0 0.023 molar. So I'm going to plug that in for this. That's 0 0.023 molar. And of course, what we're looking for is the initial concentration of A. And that's equal to a negative K, 0 0.0319 per hour times the 48 hours. And again, just make sure that your units of K are consistent with um, the units of time. In this case, it is. So I'm going to go ahead and we write this uh, 0 0.023 over the initial concentration. And let's see, um, this part, I'm going to go ahead and calculate this. And I end up with a negative 1.5312 for this side. Okay. Now, the only way that I can get um, the um, concentration terms out is to take the anti-log of both sides. Okay, so E uh, to this quantity here is just going to bring this out. And of course that's equal to E to the negative 1.5312. Okay, so let's continue here. Um, so I want to solve for the initial concentration. So just do a little algebra here. And the initial concentration then is 0 0.023 divided by e to the negative 1.5312. And let me plug that into my calculator here. Let's see, we have 0 0.023 divided by e to the negative 1.5312. And 
and I end up with a concentration of 0 0.106 molar and that is approximately equal to 0 0.11 molar. I hope this helped and everybody have a nice day.